Well, welcome, welcome. We're on the new version of autopilot and we are doing our very difficult mountain road, narrow road, gravel road course. So this is the first time we've done it downhill. Let's, since let's, the new software. Yeah, since we have the new software. I don't have much regenerative braking I'm noticing already. I'm just gliding down the hill. It doesn't want to turn on. It's turned on speed, but it's not turned on steering. It, sometimes it has trouble, especially on a road like this. No, it just won't turn on. It doesn't like something. Uh, yeah, the regen, yes, but the system not turning on, like the autopilot, this is a different story. There, okay, there we go. It took a long time. It did the two beeps. That's how you know it's on. With steering and with speed and I got to control the speed the speed is way too high for this road I got it set at seven right now it's not that difficult in this area but there's a tree over here on the left that is not trimmed and it sometimes will rub depending upon how it's doing with the steering and this is a very dangerous intersection because you can't see beyond the stone wall Whoa, oh my gosh yeah but there's a fence it's hard to see that fence see that that's an electrified fence just so you know Really? It would have just hit it? it yeah. And scratched the paint? Yes, it would gladly scratch its own paint. It did not see obstacles like tree branches. Okay, why is it going so slow? I have it set for seven, it's going five. It's because the internet is so slow up here, I think. Well, my theory is it's a super narrow road. This road should be wider according to the legal right away, and it's not because it only works right now on actual public roads and this is the public road it's just super narrow and it doesn't know what to make of it is what i think i have a feeling that it's not programmed into the software to understand how to handle a road even the fenced area is narrower than it should be it's it's this fence is not legal let's put it that way it should not be this narrow in the space and the software knows that it doesn't know what to what doesn't know what to do with it it's my opinion All right, let's turn off those wipers. Making a lot of noise. You can see it's going under the speed limit. So I guess even if I had set higher, it would still go under the speed limit. But I don't want it to go any faster. It just really doesn't know what it's doing here. You can hear our cooler and ice and stuff sloshing. I gotta empty that out, but it just didn't want to do it where I was. When we get to the supercharger, I'll do it there. We're not gonna stay there. Yeah. All right. Now, if you look on the map, too, uh, it doesn't show. Dang, I wish it did. Uh, this looks like a straight connection, you see? But it's not. You're going to have to, it's gonna have to make a right turn here, even though it doesn't show it on the map. It's gone the wrong way before. It's made a left turn at this area. So I'm kind of curious to see what it does. I zoomed in so you can see what it thinks it's doing. Okay. I think it's figuring it out. At least it didn't make a wrong turn. Now this road is, is the, the regular legal width. It's actually a different class of road for this town where the town maintains it. The other one it was a town and legal road, but it's privately maintained. So over here, in the past, we would be hugging the right side, but we're not now because of the update. It's actually got it so that we're in the middle of the road. The problem is like you can't really see over this hill. It shouldn't be doing this in a situation where you have a limited sight distance, like over a hill or around the curve, but from what I've seen, it doesn't, it hasn't figured all that out yet. It's still got to improve that area of the software. And it's going to start to get steep and going downhill. So I'm going to lower the speed just because there's no regenerative braking. I just don't want it to be picking up speed and then slamming on the brakes. Actually, let me make sure that we are, yeah, we're not in range mode. Okay, that's good. We need, if you, if you, oh, if you don't know, older S's and X's, and even current ones, I think might even have range mode, but definitely older ones. Range mode basically puts it in front wheel drive only unless you're flooring it to save electricity. So it makes it to a front wheel drive, two wheel drive car, which is weird because the whole chassis is rear drive biased, but that's what it does. But just keep that in mind. Uh oh, oh my gosh. I've lost it before here. I've, I've gotten a strike going down this area before because it's so, it's so much more difficult going downhill too than going uphill. We're way over. We're almost on the left side of this road. But you know, I'm a fan of that for these types of roads. It just it just can't do it. Like, now I can clearly see there's nobody there. 
for a long way down, which is fine. But when you're going over a hill or around a corner, it's not fine. It needs to, they need to improve the software in that area. It's really just a matter of, that, that's what all of this is, is just fixing the things that aren't quite right in the software and just keep going and going and going. That's what they're doing over time. Just taking a lot longer than people want overall. Like I said, I am low speed because I don't want it to pick up too much speed. It's holding at six miles an hour. I don't want it to be braking the whole time. There's probably some regenerative braking that's available for us. Let us know in the comments how you think we're doing. And also, if you want to see how the car is doing. And also, if you want to see other stuff, check this playlist out that you're watching this on. We've got a history of the previous software version. Last night, we did one in the dark coming up the hill. There's a driveway going in here. Someone must be doing building on the right. They're having to put in this... Or unless this drainage is just for the road and not for someone's driveway, but I have a feeling they're going to be building a house there. That's my thought. Does this car still get into the wrong lane on Swinksville Road? I haven't been there in a long time. Look, there's an outlet there for drainage. Yeah, I haven't done that in a long, long time. Now, look, you cannot see around this corner, but it's not moving to the right. It should be moving to the right. Oh, my gosh. It should be moving to the right just about now. Because if someone's there, it's going to be a head-on collision. We don't want that. So I'm dropping the speed even lower. Dropping up to five. It has a ways to go in the software development for this. And now I'm starting to see that it's okay. But back there, I, didn't, I couldn't tell. But it's okay now. But it gets even steeper here. It's a thing. I should apply for a software developer job with Tesla so I can fix all these bugs. I'm sure this is a very low pressure job too, right? Yeah, I'm over time. <laughs> See, it gets even steeper right up here, right? As we're approaching the one lane bridge, if you haven't watched before, there's a one lane bridge up here. It's a one lane wooden bridge. I want to lower it even more. It gets very steep here. Down, down to four miles an hour. Of course, I couldn't do this. Like, now we should be on the right. We should be on the right at this point. We should not be hanging out here in the road. If someone's coming barreling down up this road at 20 miles an hour, it's not going to end well. 20 for, miles an hour is barreling? Yeah, I would say. for our Compared to our four miles an hour speed. Is that what it's set at now? Yeah, four miles an hour is what it's set at. All right, I'm going to give it a little bit more because we went to the steepest part. I'll bump it up a little bit and I can see now it should be doing all these accommodations on its own but it's not maybe by the time we come back next time we'll be back here it might it won't be till at least August maybe September assuming we even have time this season and maybe we'll have another software version by then we could show you the difference. All right, it's starting to get steep again, and there's a tight corner to the right, as you can see, and then we hit the bridge. We don't hit it, we go over it. We drive smoothly across it. We don't, we don't hit anything, right? Yeah. Yeah, don't hit anything. You don't fall off the wood planks, or you'll have a heart attack. I will? Yeah. This message right here says, full self-drive may be degraded, poor weather detected. Whenever the camera's up here, you can see rain, or the side cameras, or, or back. They give you that message. But they'll have to work that through the software too. And we're still not quite at the bridge. It's also slippery, as you might imagine. In addition, because it's wet. I mean, there's a lot of things here. You don't want to have to suddenly let off the accelerator pedal to, that will start at the regen. And definitely don't want to brake if you don't have to. But even the regen could cause your wheels to lock on a surface like this. I don't think that the full self-driving is at the point where it's making accommodations for any of this stuff. All right, I'm going to speed up again. There's there's the, uh, finally, the, the little yellow diamond that indicates that we're just one little corner away, just beyond it from the one lane bridge. All right, 
there it is you can see now I've lowered the speed oh my gosh now we're heading to the right a little f too far in my opinion Denise keep an eye on all this if you don't mind doing my makeup. oh she's doing her makeup. <laughs> all right we're four miles an hour now we're going too far to the left is it gonna turn okay turn all right, are we gonna make sure that we're gonna be on the boards? Yep. It's signaling. Oh my gosh, no. We're on the board. Whoa, that driver's wheel was almost into the middle of that. I was a little bit concerned. There's some mud puddles and potholes. Hold on, get ready. It's gonna go right through them, I think. It didn't need to signal to turn right under. Yeah, I don't understand what that signal was about. It was on a different road. All right, now we're approaching 25A, the state highway, which is paved. We have to make a left turn and it's difficult just to get out of this dirt road area onto the pavement. Yeah, because it's a sharp left and it's uphill and it's on a curve. We just saw one car. That's the first car we've seen this entire drive. But they are out there. Let's keep an eye out for moose. Whoa, what was that? It's just straightening out. There's another car. All right, now see, that's, that's a really bad section there. Oh my gosh, whoa. Oh, there's a car coming, but it's going anyway. It's a big truck. Oh my gosh. All right, that's it. Let me know your comments. Give us a thumbs up, please, to help with the algorithm, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.